<laughs> Nobody else has. Okay. Uh, but I do know a little birdie told me that you were particularly close to George Harrison, so yes. you might know this answer. Yes. Uh, is it true that George Harrison came over to America and remixed the White Album because he didn't like the EQ? The answer is yes and no. <laughs> he came over, we were working on the Jackie Lomax project, and George was very frustrated with the sound on the album, and so he remastered it. So this was not remixing each of the songs, but actually remastering the EQ on the overall album. And I was with him when he did it, yes. You were with yeah, him? Yeah, absolutely. Do you know I've never heard anyone give an answer to that? Yeah. You know, you know, and I've heard different versions of this, but I read these things, but I was there, you know. And <laughs> what, what was that like? Well, we didn't, I never would talk about being with the Beatles for 20 years. It was like, it was such a special place, and I felt very privileged, and they were very open with those of us that were in one of the inner circles. There were more than one inner circle, but... Um, we all felt so privileged that we had been invited in and they treated us so good and it's not like everybody said well okay let's make a pact we won't talk about it right. we won't write about it we just for some reason we all just decided not to just out of respect for the privilege and, and how good they were to us and then what's really interesting is like 40 years later we're all writing about it <laughs> and uh, it's very curious to think about that and so we've talked with each other, a lot of us, and I think time has passed that there is no betrayals now in our stories because, you know, it's, it's, all, it's all past. And all our remembrances now are much softer and much more mature. And Isn't we it see sad it every, yeah. that, like today, you know Paul and John, all that would have been behind yeah. them. They may yeah. have gotten back together. Oh, there's no question about it. No question. You know, their, their relationship was so deep. So, I'll give you an example, um, a real quick example is I was with Paul and um, we were in Beverly Hills and, and I had a private bungalow for him in the back of the Beverly Hills Hotel and we had extra time and so Paul's sitting there and he's working on songs for the White Album. And so I'm sitting here with him, he said, well, what do you think about this? And I said, well, why don't you try this and da 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 and we were working on Oobla Dee Oobla Dab. Um, back to the USSR and uh, Blackbird. So I'm driving over Mulholland Drive that night, and I went, wait a minute, was, was I just songwriting with Paul McCartney? You know? <laughs> so the record comes out and it says Lennon McCartney. Now I didn't expect it to say McCartney Mansfield, but you know, I knew John wasn't there. Right. And that's why, and so I asked Paul, I said, well, you know, why isn't that just McCartney? Because John wasn't there. And he said, John and I are such a part of each other and we are so in sync and, and in tune with each other that, and we have written together so much, when I'm writing something, I can almost hear John saying, no, 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 let, let's, let's do this instead. So he said, in essence, we are writing together. That's so that's amazing. a pretty, pretty close relationship that those two have. You know.